Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Airflow users encounter. How to set an SLA in Airflow. One of our viewers is trying to set an SLA in a sensor operator, specifically using the S3 key sensor. They set the SLA to 30 seconds while looking for a file that doesn't exist, but they didn't see the expected record in the SLA misses section of the UI. Let's dive into this scenario and uncover what might be going wrong. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. To set an SLA in Airflow, we first need to understand what an SLA is. SLA stands for Service Level Agreement, and in Airflow, it helps us monitor task execution times. In your case, you're using the S3 key sensor operator. Let's take a closer look at how to set it up correctly with an SLA. Here's the code snippet you provided. Notice the SLA parameter set to 30 seconds. This means if the task doesn't complete within this time, it will be marked as a failure. However, the SLA misses will only be recorded if the task is actually running and exceeds the SLA time. If the task fails before that, it won't show up in the SLA misses. To troubleshoot, ensure that your S3 key sensor is configured correctly and that the task is indeed running for the SLA to be applicable. Check the logs for any errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To set a service level agreement, or SLA, in Airflow, you need to understand that it represents the time limit after a scheduled period ends. For example, if your schedule is daily and you set an SLA of one hour, Airflow will check for any SLA misses at 1 a.m. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To set a service level agreement or SLA in Airflow, you can specify the time limit in hours or minutes. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.